Do you ever wish that your planning during the breaks from school could pull in topics and resources for the rest of the term and link them to the correct lessons so that you didn't even have to look at them again until you actually stood in the lesson teaching the students in front of you? Well, now you can. Notion is your very, very best friend. Welcome to Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll not miss any of my new videos which are dropping once every week. Listen, thanks a lot for watching. I'm on my Easter break and just jumped on the video just to show you what I've been doing with my Termly Planner dashboard this week while I've been on my break. What I'm finding is it's just been so useful to have one view showing me the major topics that I'm teaching in a week, plus any other bigger workload issues such as writing reports or parents' evenings that are coming up this term so that I can properly plan my lessons and my homeworks and my marking and my tests and everything else that comes with the term so that that term goes as smoothly as possible. And I can have it all done now. I don't need to revisit those plans later on in the term. So let's jump into Notion, get building. I'll show you exactly how my template works so you can build it as well for yourself. And it all integrates into that superb system that Notion allows us to build and helps us to become the very, very best teacher that we can possibly be. Okay, so here we are in the summer term planning view of my weekly review and planning database. The first thing to make very clear is that I keep a, a database, one of the databases in my system is a database where every single item in the database is a separate week. It just allows me to do everything at a week level planning and a week level review that I want to do in my system, I can do it on this database. But what I've done then is I've created separate views, one of which is for all of my weekly planning of my, of my lessons. And then because I'm currently on my Easter break, um, I want to create a, another view just to show me my summer term planning, just to plan the 10 or so weeks of school that we've got between Easter break and summer break, all right? So the first column that we're looking at here is the, the, the weeks column shows us what the week is, and those are currently listed in ascending order uh, of date, okay? Then we've got our objectives and focus column. So once a week when I sit down to plan what my objectives are for the next week and what my main areas of focus are gonna be for the next week, I'll be populating those columns. Um, I want to know quite early on as I'm looking at this, I want to be like, well, what's the main big things coming up next week? So I just free text filled there. I can just stick in. I've got CCF filled there on the Monday of, of the second week of term. I've got parents evening uh, in the fourth week and Saturday if on the Saturday is fifth forms last lesson. And you can see on down that when half term is and so on, end of year exams, etc. Uh, very key is I want to have highlighted up front in the term when are my reports weeks. So that I have a very good idea of when my busiest times are. Obviously those report weeks are gonna be very busy, writing reports. If I have that flagged in here in my business column, then I know that coming up to that week, I don't wanna be setting too many uh, big homeworks that I need to be marking myself. I know that I wanna be keeping my evenings as free as possible so I can write those good reports for my students, okay? But otherwise, uh, I'll be coming down here, I'll be saying right end of, um, end of year, end of term exams. Well, that's not, I'm not expecting that to be very busy. I'll come in, I'll make that a nice green color. So we'll have busyness is either gonna be not very busy, very busy, or somewhere in the middle. And we could say average busyness. So I think three categories, not very busy, average busyness and very busy are probably suitable. Uh, and I would just run down that and say, right, if uh, uh, I'm expecting, because I'm away that week, I'm not gonna have much spare time to do anything. Um, half term week, and the rest are probably all average, um, realistically. So it's just copying and pasting average. Yeah, no, I'm pretty standard week. Parents even on a Monday, that's probably pretty standard. CCF field day, so that's probably an average week. That just allows me to look at that. So I know that on the three very busy weeks, I don't want to have much bargaining to do. 
So I can, the week before that, I can then set uh, lower marking burdens. Right, then I've got this section in the middle, right? And this is really, this is the bit I wanted to get set up most in this view to help me plan my term. I want to know what is the main topic that I'm teaching with each of my groups every week. So what I've created in here is, on the left-hand side, I've created a spacer column, and all that is is just a checkbox column. The title is classes, pointing to the right, so that it's clear that I'm not using that checkbox column for anything apart from just creating a spacer. And I want to have a spacer column like that, either side of my topics, <clears throat> just so that I've got a bit of visual clarity in my database. So then I've got, third form topics, fourth form topics, fifth, lower sixth, single, A-level, and further maths, A-level um, topics. And I've populated most of this already. Everywhere it's populated, it's either, or if it's not populated, it's either in my half-term break, or it's in my third form column, because I thought I could maybe do that now. And knowing what I'm teaching my third form, I know we're on um, circles for the first week first two weeks of the half term. Then we are on equations. And here, this is pulling up. This is so the third form topic and all of the topics columns. These are all um, relations to the topics database. So that I can go in here and I can say, right, we know that weeks three and four are equations. Just the way I've numbered these. Scheme of work, three equations down here somewhere is my third form, okay? And weeks five and six of the half term are um, basic probability, okay. All right, so that's the third form column there, populate it. And if I am now looking at this database, or this view of the database, I can pop into basic probability. I can see what the subtopics are, because I've already linked those in my topics database. I've already linked the subtopics into the, the master topic. And there we have, it tells us which weeks we're teaching that master topic. And I can then say, right, I'm gonna come down here and I can get any notes or any thoughts or any ideas of how I want to teach the topic. I can come in here and saying, um, using X, Y, Z resources from whatever the website is or any other ideas of how I want to teach that, I can come into that page and populate that, all right? And that'll stay there then for to use in future years. So if you're, after you've taught one of these topics, you might want to come in uh, and in on reflection, think you could have done something a bit different, you could drop those comments in there and then those comments will be available for you to view uh, both later that, year, that school year or the next school year whenever you're teaching the topic again, all right? So this is really powerful for me because I can now look at this and think, right, this side of um, my reports week, for example, so the first four weeks of term, I need to have prepared um, my lessons and my teaching in those topics here. So we would have those four, that's fine, okay. And um, we'll look at those four topics, or five topics, great. And we can just work down as we go through the term. Of note, I will set myself a reminder just to review this once a week as part of my broader uh, weekly review um, so that I can come in here and just check that everything's still uh, as per the plan. There's no new parents' evenings planned or new, no new reports that need to be written or no changes to the scheme of work which might have been announced in a department meeting, for example. Then I just come along and I've got another spacer column here and the, the title in the spacer column is Days with three arrows. So that to the right of that is my, and I, this is me just thinking, right, if there's something big that I want to 
there's like a theme of that day or something substantially off the normal program for that day, I want to include it here. Just a quick note, just so I can quickly look along, like what major is there coming up that day or that week? And I know that, for example, we have half term that week, so I can quickly come in here and just drop that across very easily and no, not to stick anything else in there. What I've also got in here is a relation column to my days database, where on any given day, I have um, related those into the week, and I can come in here and view any other key info for that day. It's just another place that I can come in and edit or read any of this information from my days database, all right? And I may in future look to just build that out a little bit and use those days more as a, as a bit of a calendar and to plan the things I'm gonna do on each day. But at the moment I don't, I just largely just track habits and behaviors in those days. And just one last thing on this really. So up at the top here, I've created these three blocks where the left-hand one is days, themes, and reports. And that's just to tell me that on the left-hand side of my, of this view of the, of the spreadsheet, of the database, I've got my days, themes, and reports tracking. Um, and then in the middle, I've got my master topics. And then on the right, I've got my days in the week. All right, it's just a visual, just so that when I come into this view of the database, I can remember roughly where the different bits of it are. Well, I hope that was useful. There you can see just the power of Notion to have that one view of our term and pull in all the, the, the relations into the different parts of our system so that we do that planning once at the start of term and we never have to revisit it again until we're like the day before the lesson or whatever it is. It's all linked in there, in the right place, pulling in the right resources, the right topics, the right classes, and just showing us that incredible power that Notion gives us. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit subscribe and the bell icon helps show me that the videos are working for you and supporting you in your system. Because Notion, we all know it, it is the most powerful thing to support great teaching. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.